Hello, my name is Navigator, and in today's video I wanted to go over an auto axe build. Now, uh, for those of you who don't know what the auto axe is, it is a weapon that is coming with the pit update, uh, and that drops uh, September 13th, if my memory serves me right. So that's coming pretty soon. Um, the auto axe is a weapon that was available in Fallout 3. Um, the mauler is one that I actually typically used a lot. Oh, it looks like uh, my man Little Devil is moving around behind me, but uh, yeah, this is actually a guy that I met on Xbox today, so if you guys are ever interested in like meeting up or something like that uh don't be don't be afraid to leave your stuff in the comments that's totally fine but uh yeah he's back there um yeah so the auto axis weapon you can get in fallout 3 uh, there's a lot of different variants of it and the mauler was my particular favorite um you can go into my fallout 3 loot collection video and check that out for yourselves um but uh in 76 there are two weapons that are uh very similar to it, and we're going to work with those uh, as we don't have the auto axe. You know, it hasn't dropped yet, so. Anyways, let's move on here. Stay away from him. He's kind of creeping around here, but we're going to move over here to the uh, perk machine, and I'm going to come down here to my auto melee build. Now, looking at these perks, I want to first talk about, as I always do with my perk videos, um, my inherent perk cards, and this is like Strong Back, Traveling Pharmacy, Bandolier, Batteries Included, First Aid, so on and so forth. These are just ones that I have to have with my character, um, you know, because they, they help me out a lot, so. Uh, with that being said, I don't really have a lot of space in a place like Strength, and Strength is going to be one of the slots where uh, you're going to have to use their perks, uh, sorry, you're going to have to use the perks of Strength, I don't know why I said that. Anyways, uh, some of the perks that uh, affect two-handed melee weapons are Slugger, and uh, Master Slugger as well as Expert Slugger. So these typically work with actual, you know, two-handed melee weapons, not automatic melee weapons, but this does work with the Mr. Handy Buzzblade, which I will show off here in a second. So Master Slugger and Slugger, um, my theory is that they're probably just going to add the Auto Axe and its kind of capabilities to the current perk and uh, perk card roster as opposed to making new perk cards that's just how i feel like bethesda is they're kind of lazy but honestly i'm hoping for new perks that'd be kind of cool uh but yeah so two-headed melee weapons that's what i feel like it's going to fall under so keep these on your list as well as the perk um incisor i believe yeah and that's going to be your melee and unarmed weapons ignore 75 percent of your target's armor and in case you can't see uh the slugger perks here are just add 20 damage uh once they're maxed out and you can get three of those and a total of uh, 60 plus damage. Over here in Perception, uh, since VATS doesn't really work with melee weapons, I figured I would use perks that uh, affect, um, what do you call it, that affect uh, animals and insects and enemies. So the first one I have here is the Exterminator perk, and that is just, uh, it ignores 75% armor of any insect. And then next here I have Glow Sight, and that will deal uh, plus 40% damage to glowing enemies, uh, and that will be 50% damage if you max that out to uh, three stars. Over here in Endurance, I have a couple perks that are actually shared here today. Um, but Life Giver, I have a, that, that's an inherent one, plus 45 to maximum health. Ironclad, that's just going over your, you know, give you better DR, better DR when you're not in power armor. And then, uh, yeah, these ones are shared. So moving over here into Charisma, Tenderizer, this is going to make it so your enemies take damage after you attack. This is great for really any uh, perk loadout, you know, regardless of the weapon, although I'm not too sure, too certain if this affects an auto melee build, especially these two weapons. Uh, Field Surgeon, this will just make it so, um, you know, I heal a lot faster. There's something uh, a lot that I should go over before, while I'm in Charisma here, um, and that is the fact that when you're using these weapons, you're up close and personal, you know, close quarters combat with your enemies. So uh, you're going to want to have perks that either do a lot of damage to them while you're standing still, while you're right in front of them, and perks that are going to make it so that you can heal faster because if you're right in front of them, they're going to be pummeling the shit out of you. Uh, with that being said, um, actually, that, <laughs> sorry, it's a different story. Uh, what I want to move on to next is Suppressor. So this is reduce your, tar your target's damage output by 30% for two seconds after you attack. So when you're up close and personal and you're hitting that, this uh, perk actually will trigger most times and uh, you'll be able to, you know, kind of throw that shit, bit the enemy. Um, and Field Surgeon, you know, I just went over that. So, First Aid, another inherent one that's just Stimpact to restore more health. Uh, batteries included, I need to have that for my energy ammo weapon for my legacy. Um, Action Boy and Marathoner, along with, uh, what is it, Starch Jeans over here, those are other inherent perks, so I'll leave them alone. Uh, but Board Survivor, falling below 30% will automatically use a Stimpact. Um, so, 
that's again really nice when you're up close to the enemy and you're kind of just you know they're beating the shit out of you you don't want to stop attacking with uh, you know an automatic melee and that will just trigger a stim pack for you uh, adrenaline as well this is a perk that actually does affect these weapons and that is gain plus 10 maximum of 60 percent damage for 30 per seconds per kill durations ref duration refreshes with kills so that's just going to give you more damage off the bat and ending over here in luck i'm going to start with luck of the draw um this gives you the chance to repair your weapon when you're attacking an enemy um yeah, sorry, when hitting an enemy. And uh, again, if you're right up close personal with the enemy and you're doing those constant attacks with an automatic melee weapon, there's going to be a higher chance that this perk is going to take effect. And ending here, I'm going to talk about Bloody Mess. This is an another inherent perk card that you should have with all classes, and this just does plus 15 damage. Why not have it? I mean, they, they fucking explode too. I think I've said that before, but yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, let's get to the good stuff here. So I have my auto melee build on. Um... Looks like Little Devil is still here. I, ho uh, I hope he follows me. Maybe he will. But I'm going to come over here. Honestly, let's go to Johnson's Acre. And I'm going to test these two weapons out on uh, some cultists. So before I hop in here, let's hope there's no, nobody sees me here. Um, let's check these weapons out. So up first, we have Ash's Chainsaw. This is named after... Um, Ash Williams' Chainsaw Hand from the Evil Dead franchise. I love that franchise. I've actually had the pleasure of meeting Bruce Campbell, who plays Ash, uh, in person. That was pretty sick. Um, this has the longbow bar and the flamer attachment on it. This is just the regular chainsaw. Um, unfortunately, you can't put any legendary effects on this. I really wish they would change that. That'd be fucking awesome, because this weapon is cool. Um, it has not a lot of damage. It only does two base damage, and then with the flamer effect, it does 12 more, but as you'll see, it moves pretty slow. I will say, the benefit about this weapon is it is just so satisfying and fun to use. So regardless of how long it takes to kill somebody, I still think that this is a weapon that you can honestly get away with in a fight. So... Uh, next over here we have uh, what I have named Codsworth Revenge. Codsworth's Revenge. This is named after that guy from a uh, not the guy, the uh, Mr. Handy from Fallout 4. Now I actually rolled this today uh, in preparation for making this video, and I got a pretty decent roll on it. So it's an Executioner's, and that's plus 50 more damage when your target is below 40 health. That's pretty awesome. Kind of melts after you get him a little bit past the halfway point, and uh, plus 25 damage while standing still. So when we're using these weapons, we're gonna not really be using Vats, but we're gonna be up close and personal with the enemy. So it's nice to have that because I know I'll be standing still uh, at least in one enemy killed uh, in this <laughs> sorry I'm all over the place I know I'll be standing still in a second let me just get into this I'm sorry I'm taking way too long we're going to start off here with Codsworth's Revenge so let's go wake everybody up here we go so yeah so he's shredded there and this is doing I think 24 yeah okay so this is doing about 60 damage here yeah, keep hitting me with those dollar store fucking pipe rifle rounds. Who's screaming over here? All right, let's try. Let's try like four kills with each weapon, and we'll see. All right, so this is number two right here. I'm gonna try to stand still. And I'm doing. Yeah, that's not bad at all. This weapon is actually pretty sweet. The uh, in making this though, um, you do need uh, some Mr. Handy fuel. That might not be something that you really have, but I did manage to find some at Camden Park, which is pretty sweet. So that's the boss there. I just took him down within a like a second or two. That's where I think. So now let's move on to the chainsaw here. I'm gonna pop a stim pack real quick, and uh, let's tear these guys apart. See, just absolutely destroying them. Even though this weapon has even though this weapon has like low damage it's just a constant attack like that is just awesome man I wish there were more people here though I think that there might be yeah it's still saying danger so where are you at let's go find him oh wow he was right there he's hiding in the hiding in the woodworks come here you mongrel torn apart there we have it ladies and gentlemen so I'm gonna hop up here to end the video but 
this was just kind of an experimental build that I had. Um, I kind of wanted to get people talking about the auto axe and what kind of build it would uh, entail, what kind of perks you would need. So this is kind of just a little reference video for you, for myself, um, for when the pit drops. So I'm going to come over here and uh, yeah. Thanks for watching today, folks. Again, as I just said, um, I really hope that you take something out of this. Uh, if there's anything that I did wrong, if there's any suggestions you have, uh, feel free to please put those down in the comments. I would really appreciate that. So, yeah, hope you guys have a great day, and uh, take care. Adios.